Today, we got some news on the Intel graphics front, but some of it got lost in translation. Oh, and we also got our first good looking RX 5700. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with Intel. We know they're going in on the GPU market and we know that it should happen next year. But what we don't know is what their strategy is. If you keep up with the news outside of boot sequence by visiting your favorite news website, you might have heard that Intel's GPU lineup will start at $200. This comes from a YouTube channel called Pro High Tech, which held an interview with Raja Kuduri on the subject. The interview is in Russian and no, Raja doesn't speak Russian, so the whole interview was dubbed over in English. Having someone speak in English and then dubbing over it in Russian for it to be converted back to English can definitely introduce some misunderstandings and that's what happened here. This is the translation that was used across the news. Our strategy revolves around prices, not performance. First our GPUs for everyone at $200. Then the same architecture but with the higher amount of HBM memory for data centers. Our strategy in two to three years is to release a whole family of GPUs from integrated graphics and pop popular discrete graphics to data center GPUs. On the other hand, you got outlets like Tom's Hardware who made sure that the translation was correct. So they requested the audio from the interview from Intel. So here it is transcribed. Not everybody will buy a five to $600 card, but there are enough people buying those too. So that's a great market. So the strategy we're taking is we're not really worried about the performance range, the cost range and all, because eventually our architecture, as I've publicly said before, has to hit from the mainstream, which starts at even around $100, all the way up to the data center class graphics with HBM memories and all, which will be expensive. We have to hit everything. It's just a matter of where do you start? The first one, the second one, the third one, and the strategy that we have within a period of roughly, let's call it two to three years, to have a full stack. Okay, so I've got to say that the transcription was also pretty confusing, but that's because I don't know what Raja's inflection was. So while the original translation carries a small amount of the same message, a lot of it was actually lost in translation, like saying that their GPUs is going to be $200. So what is Intel's actual strategy? Well, it looks like Intel is really looking at the complete portfolio for the gaming market, going for absolute low end cards all the way up to super high end where the 2080 Ti resides. But more interestingly, Intel will take an AMD approach to things and deliver one segment at a time over a few years. One thing that is almost certain to me is that Intel will definitely hit the mid-tier or mid-range cards first. Why? Well, Intel previously said that they would start their graphics lineup at 10 nanometers in 2020. They also confirmed that their first 7 nanometer data-centric GPUs would release in 2021. As we know, Intel wants this XE architecture to work from the lowest of the mainstream all the way up to the data centers, which means that we should see the advances of seven nanometers catch up to the mainstream within the same year or the next. That's if we take into consideration their two to three year approach for the full stack. Intel wouldn't release a 10 nanometer high end GPU just for it to be overshadowed by a smaller, newer process node on the next year or so. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Moving on in the continuing game show on this channel called Rate This Custom RX 5700, because you guys hated the XFX and ASRock one, we got a new challenger. No pun intended, because the uh, ASRock one was called the challenger and it failed miserably. Anyways, we got Asus coming in with a beautiful example of what should be done. First, we have the Strix design, which basically looks like any other Strix GPUs from Asus. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And yes, you heard that right, it's Strix and not Ares, because ASUS dissolved the Ares branding last year. If you don't know what I'm talking about, click up here and prepare to cringe at the early days of boot sequence. Some of you wanted a triple fan design, so here it is. It doesn't stop there though, because ASUS is also releasing a tough version of their GPU, which looks a little more stealthy. No LEDs on this one, and I think I like it better, although it does look quite boxy. Both of those cards are two and a half slots though, so make sure you got the space for the thickness. They're also working on a dual Evo series but we don't have any photos of this one yet. 
All right, so I wanted to take a minute to say that sometimes I'm a little late on the news. And the main reason is because oftentimes I either need to take a chunk of the time to explain what I'm talking about. I'm not just gonna spew out information if I think that some of you might benefit from understanding it. Or sometimes things get updated while I'm filming or editing, like this Intel story about the GPUs at 200 bucks. I made the whole video with it at 200 bucks and then I saw the correction and I had to redo the whole thing. I mean, it's been around 12 hours since the correction has been posted from Intel on Tom's Hardware's website, and a lot of outlets or videos still posted it without any correction. I try my best to make sure my information is as accurate as possible for you guys, and I honestly appreciate all the support. Heck, sometimes I get something wrong, and you guys in the comments are there to correct me, and I love that. I don't know where I was going with this, but yeah, thank you immensely for all of the support. This is pretty much it for the news, though. If you got any questions, you know where to put them. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks again. I don't know why the way I say it, it feels like I'm gonna die or something. Take care, guys.